Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's get moving. What's in Granny Murray's shelves? Oh, I'll draw stuff. Stars are really tricky. Nice big star for you, Gary. That's you, my darling. Turn on that star. And we'll... oh, there we are. Ta da! <laughs> star! Beautiful! Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson, come on then. Oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. Oh, don't want to get him over excited, do we? No, or pat him into the ground. <laughs> He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. <laughs> oh, I think that's enough patting. To your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, he'll get a good view while you dress clutter up as an astronaut up in the stars. <laughs> and we can have a space walk over to our seats. Oh, yeah. I've brought Samson's new food ball with me. It's rather special. Oh, special. We're taking Samson for a special walk. Oh, <laughs> Samson loves walking. It's a nighttime walk. Well, let me show you this ball then. Mickey John's coming round later on and he's bringing his telescope and we're going outside to look at the stars. Oh, I've got a star system at the hospital. It really helps the patients to relax. Oh, what's that? It's a star system projector. It shines the stars and planets on the walls and ceilings. Oh, that's grand. It is. Anyway, this is Samson's special ball, the one I was telling you about. Oh, it looks a bit complicated. Oh, it's quite easy. You just turn the dial to set it. Like this? Yes. Oh, help. Oh, dear. I don't think we got that quite right. No, I think it's maybe too complicated. Sometimes it's best just to keep things simple. <laughs> maybe you're right, Granny Murray. I'll give Samson his tea in the usual way. <laughs> oh, Claude, you look out of sight. Out of space, even. <laughs> well done, guys. Oh, what a lovely glittery star. Thank you, Starshine. Bye, Samson. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Come on. Just remember, sometimes it's best to keep things simple. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Ooh, I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? 
Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. All scrubbed and ready to go. There you go, Dr. J. Oh, thank you, Nurse Henry. Oh, <laughs> heavy. Oh, sounds really busy here today. You've got a full list. Certainly looks like it. There are so many patients. Some of them will be waiting quite a long time. Well, I don't want them to get bored or anxious. See you later then. Wait a minute, Nurse Hendry. We can entertain all these patients whilst they're waiting with the Night of the Stars. Great. I'll fetch my guitar. Well, you won't need that. Won't I? We can use this. Ah, oh, the star projector. We can plug it in and switch it on in the waiting area. The patients can look at the stars. It'd be really relaxing for them. <gasps> Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, some of you are going to have to wait a little while to be seen. But not to worry. Here's something to make the wait a bit more fun. Let me present a night of the stars. Oh, must get on. Oh, look. I wonder what's happening to my little star, Samson. I love to skip in river, see, bingle, river, see, bingle, by the sea. I love to skip in river, see, bingle, river, see, bingle, that's for me. Hey, do you know what this is? Called a telescope, and we use this to look at things that are really far away. Go on, have a look through and see if you can see anything. Can you see the clouds? Would you like to have a look through? Well done, Gary. Was that good, darling? You know, at night time we can see all sorts of things we can't see during the day. Like, uh, what can you see? What can you see? Oh, Some yes, you can see the stars! <laughs> <laughs> oh, will you look at poor old Samson? Doctor Juno wouldn't let you cooped up in here all day. Oh. oh, Doctor J. Yes, what's the matter? It's the star projector. It's great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. I bet you're feeling really relaxed. Well, I was, but... But what? Well, everything was looking lovely, and then it sort of went fit fit. Fit fit? And ting. Ting? I think maybe the bulb's gone. Oh, what a shame. No more Night of the Stars. Everyone was really enjoying it. Well, I better get moving and see all those patients. Down to work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights right up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Nurses and doctors, you must understand Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'd better put this away. Oh, Dr. Juno. Hello, Tina. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, thank you. I've just finished work. <laughs> I wanted to ask your advice. Of course. Well, it's about my neighbour's little boy. Jamie? Mm. He's had a tummy ache for a few days now. Well, if he's had it for a few days, you should get it checked out. It might be something serious. Mm. But I wondered if you could help. Well, I'm sure I can. It's quite quiet in casualty, so why don't you bring him in? OK, thanks, Dr J. 
goodness, it's getting late mm. and it must be getting dark. Oh, it is, but it's a very clear night. You can see all the stars. I love the stars. Mm, me too. See you later. See you. I wonder if Samson can see the stars now. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, it's a grand night. We need to find a spot far enough from the city so that we can see the stars clearly in the sky. <laughs> Dr. Juno would love it out here. Samson, I hope you're not howling at the moon. Come in. <laughs> oh, hello, Tina. Hey. How's Jamie's tummy ache? Well, it's still sore. Jamie's actually here in the waiting area, Doctor. You know, but you know he's a wee bit nervous about coming into hospital. Oh, well, that's understandable. Mm. Oh, I know. Tell him to wait. I'm going to make it great fun. Okay, Doctor J. Back in a minute. <laughs> Time for another night of the stars. Why isn't this thing working? Oh, poor Jamie. I wanted to make his visit to the hospital relaxing and fun, but this projector's not working. What's gone wrong? Where did the time go? At four o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop Samson off. The children were making glittery stars and moons. So they dressed Claude as an astronaut walking in space. I took a new food bowl for Samson to get his food on time, but it was a bit complicated. At five o'clock, I arrived at the hospital. There were lots of patients in the waiting room, so I helped to make the patients feel relaxed and happy by setting up the planetarium projector to make a fun night of the stars. It looked lovely. At six o'clock, Nurse Hendry arrived to tell me the planetarium projector bulb had gone foot foot ting. At eight o'clock, Tina asked if she could bring Jamie, her neighbor's child, to see me because he had a tummy ache. Jamie was nervous about coming to the hospital, so I wanted to make it fun for him with the planetarium projector. But it didn't work. Now remember, sometimes it's best to keep things simple. Keep things simple. I know! There's a much simpler way of making a pretty night of the stars. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it She's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Oh, look, Jamie, lovely You just lie back here and look at the stars And Dr Juno will look after you Hello, Jamie Oh, let's get you up here Oh, there you go Tina tells me you've got a tummy ache And you've had it for the last few days Well, I need to find out what the matter is So we can get you all better I'm going to feel your tummy and tell me if it hurts, all right? Is it sore there? Mm. Oh, dear. What about here? Mm -mm. Oh, it's got no fever, so that's good. Have you been sick at all? Mm -mm. Uh, no, he hasn't been sick. Well, do you know what? I know just the medicine to make you all better. I'm going to write you out a prescription. And if you're not better in a couple of days, come back and see me. Is that all right? OK. Go. Thank you, Dr Juno. You can go home now. Do you want to sit up? <laughs> well, Jamie's enjoying looking at the stars so much, he doesn't want to go. Well, it's certainly calmed him down. <laughs> Maybe the stars have calmed Samson down too. Oh, what a great place this is. Oh, the stars look really clear. Jack! 
point the telescope up at that bright star right up there. Can you see it? Oh. <laughs> Good boy, Samson. Looking at the stars must have calmed you. You've not held at the moon all night. Dr. Juno would be proud. <laughs> You know, come our way through and you come. Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. <laughs> Good boy. Look at that wagging tail. Oh. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's best to keep things simple. It saved the day. Oh, <laughs> gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be all. Bye-bye, okay. my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an astronaut going spacewalking amongst the stars. Mickey John brought his telescope round so the children could learn how to use it. We dressed up warm and walked Samson up the hill away from the lights of the city. It was a really clear night. We set up the telescope and all took turns looking at the stars. The stars made us feel very calm. Samson didn't howl once. And while the children were looking at the stars outside, the children in the hospital were stargazing and relaxing too. The night of the stars worked really well. Sometimes it's best to keep things simple. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Where the fairy box stands the blue Time to call on Granny Mom.